the next report that I'd like to share is a, a cost plan variance report. Um, cost planner allows you to save snapshots or versions of your cost plan while you are, work, are evolving, are you, while you're developing your cost estimate. And uh, that then allows you to compare uh, versions to each other. Uh, so if you create the first version of your cost plan based on a design uh, this month and you get another version of the design next month, you save two versions and you can pair those versions side by side. In the meantime, insight and uh, in, in the cost may have changed as well. And you can see where the differences are, whether the price is different, whether the quantities are different, or both. And actually, to point out where that is done in the application, I'm going into the plan cost workflow item, uh, which opens the, uh, the estimate that we're working with. And in manage versions, I can see the versions that I created, or actually Ian created, a while ago. And to save a new version, I just click this button, save version, and that allows me to type comments, and that will store a, a version on the, uh, the timeline of the Vico Office project. So let's go back to create reports. And I'm going to generate my report template number six, the cost variance report. So I click generate. And there we see something recognizable. That's the parameters that we used for other purposes earlier. Now we're using the parameters to select the versions that we want to compare. So the left version, I would like to use version 2. And for the right version, I want to use version 3. Once I submit that information, it starts pulling information from the, uh, from the database. Uh, so maybe a good moment to sketch out what is happening now. Uh, the co-office database is uh, storing all of the information on a timeline. Uh, so anytime you make a change in your cost plan, uh, a small point is stored on a timeline. When you save a version, that point on the timeline is something that you can point back to. Uh, so that's what I did. Uh, there is a, a version 2 uh, over here. And then later on, I made a version 3. Uh, so a number of changes occurred in the meantime going from version 2 to version 3. What I'm doing right now is I'm comparing version 2 to version 3 and I'm checking what the quantity and, uh, and cost differences are. So this is the result. It now pulled that information from the database and it highlights where the changes are. So again, this is conditional formatting. I'm formatting only those values uh, with a, a green background that are negative. If I scroll further down, I will see uh, a, uh, some values that are larger. So when I worked on the uh, pad footings and, uh, and here's some, some other areas, uh, those have gotten more expensive or the quantities have gone up. In, in this case, the quantities have gone up. So probably this pad footing did not exist yet in version 2 of the cost estimate. Helps me to explain why there is a cost difference going from a version 1 to a version 2. Um, to show how that report is created in the, uh, in the template editor or in the report designer, looking at the template, um, I'll open the, uh, the field list quickly. These are the parameters that you need to use. Uh, so they're names that we've built in. And uh, again, uh, if you're interested in, in building a, a report template like this one, uh, I would refer to, uh, to our website where there is a tutorial that explains step by step how to create it. I'm going to close this template and um, of course it's always uh, nice to present the differences with a graph. So again we're going to use the, uh, the I've inserted a, um, a graph in, uh, in this report. I'm going to uh, again, select the two versions and uh, submit that so that it can be generated. And now we will uh, see the, uh, the exact same comparison, but we'll have an area in the top of the report uh, that shows graphically 
the uh, the difference between version one and two and uh, the impact on the on the cost. Uh, so here we have conveying apparently that did not exist in uh, in version one or sorry version two of the cost plan. It does exist in version three of the cost plan. Electrical. Uh, that's probably something that uh, the estimator worked on. Uh, two weeks ago, or since two weeks ago, since he created plan version two and plan version three, now includes that. Scrolling down, we've got the uh, the list of variances again uh, highlighted where the uh, where the differences occur. <clears throat> 